The GTK notebook visual implementation looks very promising. Let's see if it ends up being a promise fulfilled. The starting point is the window module we set up earlier. The space is now clear to add more code. In this case, code pertaining to the GTK notebook interface. The purpose of the notebook interface is to show tabs for each RSS feed. That is our purpose for the GTK notebook interface in this instance. Each RSS feed contains headlines, and so I call this instance of the tab organizer the headlines view. GTK defines a signal handler for the notebook. What that means is when a tab is clicked, you have an opportunity to tap into that clicking so that you can take actions in response to that tab being clicked. GTK contains numerous signals for each of the visual elements and you can tap into them the same way. At this point I'm not going to activate the signal, I just have it there as a placeholder and a reminder. But I am interested in the headlines and listing them out in a list box. Some may find this odd, but unlike other UI toolkits, GTK does not automatically inject scroll bars into the list box. That gives you the freedom to decide how the list box will work for you. And in some cases you may want to list some elements and you know you don't need scroll bars and it would be unnecessary and excessive work for you to remove the scroll bars or you will simply have to live with the existence of scroll bars in a spot where it doesn't belong. If you've ever seen a screen or user interface where it has these small list boxes and the scroll bars, is they're taking up so much space, you kind of know how gaudy that can appear. But to import scroll bars onto a list box when you want, GTK has what's called a scrolled window. And a scrolled window is the primary means for adding scroll bars to a widget and controlling how those scroll bars work. It's actually a well-defined interface for scroll bars. And when you put something inside a scrolled window and that something is larger than the scrolled window, then the scroll window manages the means for panning up and down and sideways the larger content that resides inside. As part of the GTK specification for visual items, you have to add bottom level widgets to upper level widgets. Like most user interfaces, you are forming a sort of inverted stepped pyramid, a pyramid of the Mayan Aztec Incan variety. Put the building blocks in the right order and a GUI appears and it will often function the way you intend. And so the exercise before us is to aggregate these widgets together in the right sequence, in the right order, to achieve the representation of data and functions that will connect to an end user's intuitive sense of how things should work and function. The starting point here is to not only set up the tabbed interface, but to set that tab, up, tab interface up in such a way that it occupies the right part of the screen and functions the way which you would expect. 
Subsequent to that, we need list a list box under the tab. And it's not actually under the tab so much as it is affiliated with a tab. So we need to affiliate the right list box to the right tab. Now you could optimize the code you know in a different situation where you had a single list box and based on the changing of the tab you would implant the list box on the screen based on uh, the tab that was clicked you would implant the right uh, list of items in that list box in accordance with the tab that was clicked and in some cases that may be an optimization you'll want to do for performance reasons I've elected to not do that primarily because I've already tested that scenario and based on my analysis you can have a couple of thousand items in a list box and you can have let's say anywhere from 10 to 20 tabs each with a thousand to two thousand list items in it you would have a small lag but it's not enough to justify writing excessive code to optimize performance anyway let's build this and see how far we've come with adding this tabbed interface and a list box and the compiler reports an error and it's an issue with the parentheses we miss the parentheses remember the compiler is very exacting in how the language is specified so with the modification made notice that our um, process of getting code to the build server and getting it down has accelerated and having good scripts in our project directory is instrumental to that process and over time it's going to become what some call unconscious competence where using these scripts is, is second hand and we just write the code, we compile it, we see the errors, fix it and do the same thing and we do it in a matter of seconds so we have now uh, modified uh, the application it is now in a runnable state but we don't have a tab so what happened well what happened is declaring the object or in this case calling the function is not enough you have to associate the the item the widget with a parent level in this case the notebook has to be affiliated with the window. And so now that we've made that connection, we can run it and see if we get a tab. And indeed we do. We have a tab, we have a list box with a single item in it, and we have automatic layout and sizing. Very good. We're on the right track, we just need to refine.